C'est maintenant, c'est tout de suite, l'épisode final de nos aventures entre 1931 et 1986. Hein, on ne sait pas, ça part, ça revient. On se quittait sur Doc de 1986, mais version, euh, version d'Arc qui s'associait à Edna de 1931. Ils partaient tous les deux en DeLorean. Donc euh, actuellement on est en 1931 et c'est la merde. Voilà. On va voir la suite. Non, parce qu'ils ont vraiment fait les intros de chaque épisode comme le, le film commence à chaque fois. Hello? Marty! You're awake! Good! Uh, Emmett, where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, he'd hit the roof. Alors, je peux dormir ici. Ne bougez pas, vous devez faire la paix avec votre père. Non, on s'en fout un peu. Well, stay put. I'm on my way. Great. But first, I need you to perform an important mission. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh, I think I see it. Vous sensei. J'espère que tu vas bien, yeah. bonheur 4 ans. C'est bon Bon, c'est fantastique Le glowing beast, mon static accumulator, est chargé et prêt pour l'action. action. le it down to the high school et we'll... Damn Quoi C'est Edna Mais... Ok, Emmett, un static accumulator coming up. Ok, donc on va vraiment faire l'expo en fait. Jeez, Doc, watch out, you almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes ouais, difficult ouais, ouais. to control. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you okay? After that argument about Emmett last night, I... I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Ah, <laughs> c'est gentil. Ça va bien, merci. J'espère que toi aussi tu vas bien. Euh, vous avez récupéré. Où étiez-vous Ouais, où étiez-vous Parce que. Je m'inquiète un peu. Ouais. Ok. 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 I also had an epiphany oh, last mais qu'est-ce qu'il a fait Doc I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Doc oh. It was science. Mais la science c'est tout pour vous. You can't give up science. You love science. Correction. My younger self loves science. But if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his ah, on a perdu de scientists will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Another path? What other path? I don't know. Architecture, automobile repair, taxidermy. Maybe I'll even pursue a life in law like my father always wanted. As long as Emmett steers clear of science, Edna and I will be free to be happy together. You can't want Emmett back with Edna. She used you to turn Hill Valley into a police state. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. But if I don't become a scientist, she'll never get the chance to vent her crazier ambitions. 
Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. Ça se tient, mais non. Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No. What the hell? Where'd it go? Alors, attraper la cumulière statique des mètres. Merde. Euh, ok, on peut pas aller à droite. Là, y'a rien. C'est quoi ce bruit Ah, il est là. Oh, come on Ok. Le truc se fout de ma gueule. Here, little static thingy. On va aller jusqu'où comme ça Il est passé où Doc là dans cette scène The future is coming today. There's a shiny new tomorrow on the way. A day of invention is at hand. It's a mystic futuristic wonderland. Just around the bend, my friend, you'll see a dream or two. If you care to dream and dare to dream, your dreams can all come true. There's a world of wondrous wonder on display. Because the future is coming today. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all, but I thought you fired her. I found a loophole. What kind of loophole? Just a loophole. You're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right, all right. Say, don't you have to get that whatchamacallit to Emmett Brown's booth? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Because the future is coming. It's almost here now. The future is coming. It's getting clear now. The future is coming to Trouvez le stand des maîtres et remettez-lui l'accumulateur statique. Attends, bah, on va visiter hey, un peu. What do you think? Quite a setup, huh? The expo? Alors, oui. You haven't seen Emmett Brown, have you? Isn't he at his booth? It's the tall one over there. Come on, you can tell me. How did you manage to get Trixie your job back? I thought her being Canadian was a deal breaker. If something's really important to you, you find a way. You ought to know that. I salut. See you around. Le mec super agréable, lui. How about an algae king? Sure thing, mister. Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes? What? I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey! You're the guy that tried to pick up on oh. my Eunice! Oh, for the love of... No algae cakes for you, buster. Est-ce qu'on peut visiter les autres stands Insert ticket to enter. Ah, il faut des tickets. I think that's supposed to be a clock. Enlightenment awaits you under the sea. Excuse me, Mr. Duto, Jacques Duto, at your side. Jacques Duto. Did I get a ride in that bathosphere? Certainement, if you've got the ticket. Ah, il me faut des tickets, je peux rien faire. See you around. On va aller. And here he comes, right on cue. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, detective. But you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Colleon. What's going on here? Well, uh, 
Miss Strickland here seems to think... Uh... You should step aside and let the officer do his duty. Now. Wait a minute. That's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. <laughs> Je dire, et alors? So what? What's your point? Oh, I think you know exactly what my point is. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Michael Corleone really is and ah, elle where he comes elle from. Sait du futur There's something you want to tell me, Michael? Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Smirnov. Ah, thanks a lot, Doc. An anarchist, a foreign agitator, ah non, bent on sowing chaos and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo. Annie, you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, Yakov, but I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. Come here. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. But she's been getting some clout in town ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. Well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Well? I'll dig something up. You do that. Ouais, in the meantime, young Mr. Brown better... Where is he anyway? Ah bah si, c'est elle qui a foutu you le feu. You haven't seen him? Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Oh, you're letting him go? This radical subversive? Just like that? Okay, so, I gotta find Emmett. And do something about Edna. I can't believe Danny let himself get bullied into shutting down Emmett's booth. Emmett's gonna fly his electrokinetic levitator and he's gonna do it today. Come on, Emmett, where are you? Cabine téléphonique. Welcome to the phone booth of the future, made with Atlas Glass. Atlas, unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, so you can enjoy a sandwich ah, or a future. cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. Ah, et le numéro c'est KL4253, ok. Donc à mon avis, il va falloir faire en sorte que quelqu'un nous appelle. Hi Trixie. That's techni to you, kiddo. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know. Now what can I do you for? So, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the glass house, the future furnishings, and of course, enlightenment under the sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself. Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. Come on, How much are tickets? Oh, put your money away. Here. Ah, oh, merci. Kind of like family now, you know? Thanks. Wait a minute. You seen Emmett around? I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah. Uh, uncle or something? Or something. Look, 
Emmett's demonstration has hit a snag or two. Can you delay his act for a while? Let someone else go before. Sorry, I don't set the roster, and they won't let me change it. Uh, I can drag my feet a little, but uh, if your friend's not ready to go on pretty soon, we might have to skip his act. Uh, I mean, demonstration. But you can't. Hey, it's just a science demo. It ain't a matter of life and death. I see. What time is Emmett supposed to go on? Let's see. Eight kilobeats past 50. Yeah. We're on metric time here at the Hill Valley Expo. Ah, ça existe le, une unité de, de temps en, en, en métrique Je sais pas. Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame don't know how to mind her own business, does she? Is there anything you can do uh, to get Emmett's booth open again? Uh, I wish there was, but I'm just a muse. All we can do is inspire people. Inspire-moi. Okay, you're a muse. Can you inspire me an idea? I'll try. Well? Maybe it doesn't take effect right away. Artie told me how you managed to get your old job back. He did? But it was supposed to be a secret. There's no secrets between us. He couldn't resist telling such a good story. Yeah? Still, I'd like to hear it again, uh, from your point of view. Well, he didn't tell you anything. <laughs> Come on, Trixie. I'm dying to know how you got the job back. You won't hear it from me. I don't talk out of turn. Ouais, mais ils savent quelque chose sur Edna eux, et ça peut nice. servir. Happy to help. Are you ready for a picture radio? Wonder if that's anything like MTV. Mm. C'est carrément ça. Ah. J'entends pas. A potted plan. What's this got to do with law enforcement? A potted plan. What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside. See? If we could have got one of these into Tan and Speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. Don't walk off with the recording plant. It's the only one I got. Merde. Faut que je trouve un moyen de la choper. Well, speak of the devil. The amazing inebriomatic. Well, from what the boys in the lab tell me, someday we'll be able to tell whether people have been drinking just by breathing into a machine like no. this. Try it out. I don't think so. The Electro Pacifier. Amazing, isn't it? They say one day we'll be able to stun fleeing criminals by shocking them at a distance. No. Does it work? <laughs> nah, it's just a model. Je sais pas si j'ai très envie de leur parler à eux, mais bon. Hey Danny, could I have a word with you? Comrade Schmirnov, come to turn yourself in? In private? With pleasure. You've got to let Emmett demonstrate his invention. His whole future depends on it. Well, I'd love to, kid, but Miss Strickland thinks it's dangerous. Unless you've got something on her, her word is pretty much law. Ouais, faut que avec le ah, avec le pot, il y a moyen de choper un truc sur elle. Pas, uh... You haven't seen Carl Sagan around here, have you? Nah. Isn't he still a wanted man? Nah. All those arson charges got dropped weeks ago. Judge Brown said there wasn't enough evidence for a trial. Bon. Thanks. I'll be back. Oh, I hope so. You've got to get this albatross off my neck. Well, did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Yeah, oh. Hello, Hello Schmierna. Danny, can I talk to Edna for a minute? Be my guest. I'd like a couple minutes of. What's this about? 
Wait, wait. What'd you do with Emmett, Edna? What are you talking about? You're the one who's trying to ruin his life. Believe it or not, I'm the one trying to save it. From what? From you, mostly. Why are you still involved in Emmett's life? I thought you broke up with him. I did, but then your friend Mr. Sagan told me about your scheme to interfere with our romance. Not a very nice thing to do, Comrade Shmirnoff. Why'd you go and get Emmett's invention sealed up like that? I had no choice. Once Mr. Sagan told me about your attempts to radicalize my poor Emmett, I knew I had to stop him from going through with your dangerous invention. But it's his invention, and it's not dangerous. Okay, maybe it's a little dangerous, but only to him. That's for the authorities to decide. Le pire c'est que ça va vraiment être dangereux, mais c'est le destin. Il doit, il doit se foirer. Why is Parker so willing to do your bidding? <laughs> well, the good detective knows that he owes his current rise through the ranks to my reporting on his behalf. Oh. He also knows that I could just as easily pen an expose about his previous nights of drunken debauchery and evidence tampering. You're blackmailing him? Reporters don't blackmail, Mr. Schmirnoff. We look out for the public interest. Did you see? Trixie Trotter got her old job back. Oh, I know! I tried to have it out with Arthur McFly, but he refuses to explain himself. Apparently, he discovered some sort of loophole that allows that Canadian to retain her position. Well, the Ladies Decency Society shall hear about this. Make no mistake. Je sais ce que vous cachez, mais je sais pas en fait. I know your deep, dark secret. Secret? What secret? Vous avez travaillé pour Kit Tanen, vous êtes une voleuse. Quel. Ah, le jeu, doucement. You know, what you were whispering about with Carl Sagan yesterday. You overheard? Sure, I did. And you did a really lousy job at uh, burying the oh. body. Oh, you didn't hear a thing. What I was talking about with Carl Sagan is between me and Carl Sagan. Well, I okay, understand. this is pointless. I've got to find Emmett. Stay away from him, you anarchist hooligan. On va faire les. On va faire les attractions. Mr. Duto? Oui. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A distracted look. That's him. Any idea where he went? He just passed by here with an older gentleman. I think they were added into the house of black. Great, thanks. Ah, la maison de verre, ok. Alors on va commencer par la maison de verre. Ah oui. Hey, Emmett, come out of there. Don't listen to him. Perfect. Alors là, ça me dit rien du tout. Welcome to the Atlas House of Glass, the future of domestic life. Okay, Emmett, let's get you out of here. Emmett! Emmett, don't listen to him. He, he's crazy. I'm still not sure about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas glass. Unbreakable and soundproof. Soundproof glass. Great. Our living space can be configured to meet the needs of any family. Need a private Ça donne la maison. Simply slide the walls in. Or slide them out again to create a spacious banquet hall. Ah bah yes.
Oh là là, mais ça va être un casse-tête de ouf là, ça, non Est-ce que c'est à débloquer ça Non, si. Ok, je sais pas pourquoi, mais... Elle <rire> est chelou cette phase. Donc ça, à mon avis, c'est bloqué. Ah non, ok. Ça, on peut le pousser. This is more complicated than it looks. When I moved that first wall, I opened one passage, but I blocked another. Hmm. Effectivement. Attends, pourquoi il est bloqué celui-là Ah, attends, il faut que je recommence tout. Pas possible. Ça va être un enfer. Attends, mais je suis bloqué là. J'ai pas compris pourquoi ça. J'ai rien compris. <rire> Détail, va le droguer. Et merde. Mais ça m'avance pas ça. Hmm. Mais quel enfer Ah si, du coup maintenant, je peux pousser ça. Ok. C'était tout. Ah et là on arrive dans le stand d'à côté. Oula, faut se dépêcher. Bon alors c'est que les trois boutons. On commence par le rouge, hein, la base. téléphoner d'ici. Ah, on peut appeler la cabine du futur. Ah. Résidence bon. Bondike 4385. 
brown residence. Hey, Hampton. How's it hanging? This is Marty, Emmett's friend. Is he there? Not at the moment. I'm afraid he's off on one of his little adventures. Thanks. Bye. Farewell. Conversation terminated. Attends, et si j'appelle euh, la cabine du futur, ça y se passe quoi Ah, c'est elle qui répond. Hill Valley Expo, where the future is coming today. This is Check Me News of Progress. To whom am I speaking? Carl Sagan, Michael Corleone, Kit Tannen. Monsieur Smith? This is Anthony. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Mr. Closeoff. Closeoff? Yes, first name Oliver. Oliver Closeoff? Listen, kid, I didn't just fall off the poutine truck. Who is this really? Hang up. Conversation terminated. Attends, est-ce qu'il y a pas un truc à. Non, je pense pas. Et le troisième bouton, c'est quoi? Chinese checkers and everything. Non, 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 je voulais pas sortir. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. It's just all. Mais rien à faire en fait. Juste appeler en, en me faisant passer pour Tanen. Mais... Non J'ai trop spammé. Euh, si je me fais passer pour Kid. It's Kid Tannen. I'm out of jail and I want you back, baby. I don't know who you are or why you're doing that horrible impersonation. It's over. Okay. Ça pas marché. Good for you, Trixie. Bon, on va essayer Carl Sagan, mais. Merde. In the house of the personal phone. Please hang up to terminate. Quandike Je pense que c'est pas. Il y a un truc à faire. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah? This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Rolly Katz, tu vas bien? Nom de Dieu! Je peux parler à Nina, je peux parler à Emmett. Ah, Emmett est pas là, mais. On va parler à Nina. Can you put Edna Strickland on the phone for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Strickland! Ah, ça va. actually wants to talk to you. Merci, merci. Mr. Sagan, I didn't expect to hear from you again until after the expo. You didn't? Yes. Wasn't that part of our plan? Yes, our uh, plan. Uh, about that plan. Uh, Rappelez-le moi. <laughs> Où est Emmett? Votre terrible secret. I'm a little unclear on the details of our plan. Unclear? But it's your plan. I mean, I I'm worried that you're a little unclear on the details. What details? All I'm supposed to do is use my pole with Detective Parker to get Emmett's demonstration cancelled while you keep Emmett distracted. You are keeping him distracted, aren't you? Oh yes, he's a very distractible young man. Oh, that's what I keep telling everyone. Alors, où est Emmett I seem to have momentarily lost track of Emmett. Do you have any idea where I might find him You lost him You were supposed to keep him distracted. Oh, I have been. He's just uh, wandered off. Well, go look for him. I've got my hands full with Parker. Why are you saying all those terrible things about Emmett's friend Young comrade Smirnoff, you were the one who told me about his vile deeds. Regarding, uh, you know what you know what? 
Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that! As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? Uh, uh, pin what on him exactly? You know, it. Qu'elle a vraiment oh, un petit secret. I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh, Alors, that elle was foutu the dog's fault. If he hadn't come glumping up to me right after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean away, and I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. Jeez, the speakeasy arse. Voilà. Carl, on a un truc contre elle. somebody with you? No, it's just you and me. There's been a change of plan. What? Yes, I've changed my mind. I think we should let Emmett go through with his demonstration. But, but you told me it could be dangerous, and that Yakov Shmirnov was a foreign agitator. That the only way I could get Emmett back would be to scoop him up after his dreams were shattered, and and yes, and, yes, and yes. so on and so forth. I said a lot of things, but I was a little crazy at the time. The important <laughs> thing is <laughs> now. I think you should let Emmett go ahead with his little demonstration. Oh, I get it. What? It's Comrade Shmirnov, isn't it? He's gotten to you. No, I really want Emmett to go ahead with his demo. Don't worry, Carl. You can count on me. So, I don't mean to pry, but why did you burn down all those speakeasies? Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. What? Well, we should probably get back to the plan. Yes, we should. Goodbye, Mr. Sagan. Goodbye. On va aller balancer ça au flic. Est-ce qu'il va nous croire Monsieur l'agent. Greetings, forward thinkers of Hill. Shh, he's approaching. Hey Danny, could I have a word with you I thought you'd never ask. Thanks. No. I'll be back. Well, did you put the screws to him? Droit. Did he confess? Excusez-moi. Uh, en encore une dernière petite chose. He did. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> uh, Emmett has been kidnapped. Oui, ça c'est vrai déjà. Emmett's been kidnapped by Carl Sagan. What? Really? He knocked him out in the house of glass, then trapped me in that crazy house of the future. Do tell. And where are they now? I don't know. Well, when you find the master criminal that's kidnapped your friend, bring him over here, and we'll have a nice talk, okay? Merci la police. J'ai des infos compromettantes sur Edna. You know how you said you'd defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her? Yeah, you got some? Oh oui. Edna's the speakeasy arsonist. That's an interesting theory. It's the truth. Theory. I heard her confess. Well, I didn't hear it, so I'm afraid it's your word against hers. And no offense, but her word carries a little more weight around here than yours does. Oh, merde. Thanks. I'll be back. Well, did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Now, can you please leave me alone to do my job? In a minute, oh, il faut qu'on l'enregistre. Il faut qu'on l'enregistre avec ça. Mais je peux pas le prendre. Hey, don't walk off with the recording plant. It's the only one I Donc il faut que j'occupe le flic. Hmm. Comment qu'on fait ça Est-ce que elle, elle peut l'occuper Hi Trixie. Now what can I do you for Did Emmett come through here with Carl Sagan Sorry. Non. Thanks. Ouais, bah, juste ce truc-là qu'on n'a pas fait, donc on va le faire. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. Hey, just left about a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch that. Euh, c'est moi où il a plus du tout un accent français là, Jacques Douteux. 
Est-ce que vous pouvez enlever votre scaphandre, s'il vous plaît Take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is difficult on my sinus habits. Hmm. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc. <rire> C'est carrément la voix de Doc. Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with Emma? Stop! Help! I'm being attacked. Michael, what are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boys obviously are confusing. I'll say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jock Duto of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. It's Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duto. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. Hmm. Professor Duto, huh? At your service. Hmm. What have you done with the real Professor Duto? I'm not sure I like your insinuations. I'm not sure I like you kidnapping Emmett. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold-blooded guy, Duto. Say la vie. Where did you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I'm going to take a closer look at that bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid. Je l'ai dit. Hey! Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? No. Je l'ai dit. See that you don't. Feels good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> J'ai plus de ticket. Merde. You're not gonna get away with this, you know. As they say. Mmh. Attends. Bah, J'ai des tickets. Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's a, uh, uh, the, the wrong kind of Hey, come on, spam soule. Oh, give me a break. Next up on our roster, a man who saw the possibilities in pond scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot. Thanks, Trixie. Uh, uh, technique. I'm truly honored to be here today among all you pointy headed type people. Okay. I don't even like algae cakes, but free samples are free samples. Je pour voler ces gâteaux. Ladies and gentlemen, is a mysterious and little known biological entity. Through diligent study and countless hours of experimentation, I believe I have unlocked the secret. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure. That's a P ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. Okay. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duto, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I am only too happy to take his ticket. Please, try to allow it, and I will raise the matters for you. What happened with the toys, sir? ...that held together and solid blocks through the miracle of gum arabic. The algae cake presents a package that is truly important. Il commence à jouer avec ma patience, lui. Hein. L'autre ban. Ah, je sais pas, c'est Wiseboat qui a ban automatiquement, mais ça devait être un, ça devait être un boat. Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very interesting. Huh. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon. <rire> non, non, t'inquiète. Juste que Wiseboat a été, bah, c'est instant quoi. Quand il détecte que c'est des messages de boat. 
the bathosphere exhibit is currently closed for repairs. Are we? Ok, donc on peut rester ici. Step back! We're cripping the hole! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. Aye. It's an old nautical superstition. Si le jeune Emmet meurt, does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. There's not. Can't you see he's messing with us? There's nothing wrong with those gears. Monsieur Duto is doing his best to fix the exhibit. Hovering over him like that doesn't help the situation any. I command you uncrimp that hose. Hey! You ready to drop the act now, Jacques Duteau, aka Carl Sagan, aka. No! I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you would. Why not? There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? Why well, not? Emmett gets nowhere until you raise the bathosphere. Uh, Emmett? Who? Emmett, you. Y'a rien qui marche. You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. I demand you uncrimp that hose. I demand you let Emmett out of that bathosphere. I, I don't know who, what you're talking about. Ça Step marche pas. Off. Raise the bathosphere, Doc. I won't do it. Then neither will I. Do we really have to stay here? Ah, c'est bon. Allez, attends. J'ai rien barré. Hein. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. Bah voilà. Let's get you out of there. Uh, Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Hey, you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. I think he took his wallet. Oh. Remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone. Now, we've all got problems. <laughs> now you'd better get back to your booth. Funny before. thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur of the moment business proposition. It was all very rush rush. I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that. Say, where did he go? You know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, oh, I know how that is. What's this? Oh, yeah. Edna made Detective Parker shut down Coucou. your booth. He says he can't go against her. Oh, yeah. right, toi. Unless we dig up some dirt that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Mais j'ai déjà. Il faut. So that's what we'll do. Alors peut-être qu'il va parler aux flics et que je vais pouvoir prendre le mouchoir, le mouchoir, le mouchoir. Voilà, il, là il les occupe là. Ni vu ni connu, on prend ça. Ça marchera jamais. La forme. Tu m'en vas rien. Don't walk off with the recording plant. It's the only one I got. Comment est-ce que je peux? le distraire lui. Oh, hello Schmirnoff. Do you know what she made him do? Yeah, come here. T'as retrouvé ton lit donc ça va. Ah, oh, t'étais t'étais plus chez toi, c'est ça Mais quelle sensation quand tu rentres chez toi 
après, après avoir dormi en dehors de chez toi et que tu retrouves toi. Oh là 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 là. Il a rien de plus beau au monde. Il faut qu'on discrédite Edna. Edna made Parker close your booth down. I know that. So he'll only open it up again if we could find a way to discredit her. Do you know anything that'll ruin Edna's standing in town? Yes, I do. She is a rotten kisser! Oh! That wasn't what I had in mind. <laughs> ah bah deux jours, deux jours c'est déjà trop. <laughs> deux jours loin de son petit lit. Euh... Assuming we get Parker to open your booth back up before they call your name, is the levitator ready to go? All except the power source. You did bring the static accumulator, didn't you? Yeah, I've got it. You want it now? No. Wait till we get back to the booth. Listen, if Carl Sagan shows up again, you're not gonna let him lead you away, are you? Are you kidding? My sole concern now is to get back up to my electrokinetic levitator. Bon. Good man. Il faut que je trouve un moyen. I gotta run. De... You talk some sense into those two. Oh, a Sisyphean task if ever there was one. Qu'est-ce que j'ai comme objet? Les gâteaux, les tickets, l'accumulateur. Ah les gâteaux! Parce que l'autre il est vénère que j'ai piqué les gâteaux. Si j'en donne à l'agent de police et qu'il a les dents vertes, est-ce que l'autre il va pas venir l'embrouiller? On va tenter cette strat. Monsieur l'agent. Oh, hello, Schmirnoff. Nah. C'était le plan parfait. Tout s'effondre. Et na, des petits gâteaux. I don't think so. Bon. Ah non, c'est l'autre, c'est Cubeball qui aime, qui aime les gâteaux. Oh, yes. Il est où Cubeball? Non mais lui, je vais pas lui donner les gâteaux, il va... Il va savoir que c'est moi qui les ai volés. Un algae cake Un algae cake coming right ahead Hey, wait a minute C'est you. Forget it, mister Il est où, Q-Ball Hmm... Hey, Artie See you around. Bon, il peut rien faire. Attends, je vais, je vais. <rire> On va tenter, même si je pense que ça marchera pas. Maybe not. Ouais. Euh, C'est la merde. Ah. Et si j'appelle la cabine et je dis que je veux parler aux flics, est-ce que j'ai le temps d'aller chercher Ouh. On va tenter ça. Non mais je veux pas mettre les gâteaux là, je veux juste y aller en fait. Ça marche les quatre, merci. Mais moi je l'ai déjà fait. Hein. Je l'ai fait genre euh, quand il est sorti euh, sur PS3. Je me souviens de rien. <rire> euh, attends. <rire> Je vois que ça. Alors est-ce qu'on peut... Est-ce qu'on peut demander à parler aux flics Carl Sagan. Euh, si je dis Michael Corleone, peut-être que... Hi Trixie, it's me, Michael. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, nothing. I was just checking out this snazzy phone. Oh. Okay, bye. Mais non. Bye. Conversation terminated. <rire> Passe moi le flic. Il y a que Carl Sagan qui peut demander. Klondike four two five. Yeah. It's me, Carl. Hi, Mr. Sagan. What can I do for you? And now we met. And now I've already done it. It doesn't matter. Well, it's 
Could you get it for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Emmett told me to tell you he started over, and he thanks you for your job offer and all, but uh, he'd rather stay in Hill Valley and do his own thing. Okay. Conversation terminated. C'est la merde. Good for you, Emmett. Trixie says the future furnishings exhibit is worth checking out. Et ici, y a plus rien à faire. Non. I ought to just go raise the bathysphere myself. I don't think so. Is this punk giving you trouble, ah. Mr. Duto? Mmh. Ouah, c'est quoi ce bug? Le mec, il est plus là et il lui parle. Il s'est enfui. <rire> C'est complètement pété. Le mec qui parle à un fantôme. I want to just go raise the bathysphere myself. I don't think so. Is this punk giving you trouble, Mr. Duto? <rire> Les esprits me parlent. Le mec qui s'est enfui il y a une demi-heure mais il continue de me parler. Et apparemment les autres le voient. Mais il est où ce con là, Q-Ball là C'est sûr que c'est lui qui doit bouffer les gâteaux. It's gonna fly his Je le vois pas. Invention special, two free algae cakes with every visit. Trixie says the future furnishings exhibit is worth checking out. Ameublement du futur. C'est où ça? Oh, oh. peut-être il y a peut-être un autre Hello, truc à faire ici. Oh. Hello, Schmirnoff. Now, where were we? Euh... Attends, moi, le seul truc que je vois là, c'est les gâteaux. Mais Il est pas là-dedans le mec. Trixie says the future furnishings exhibit is worth checking out. Ah donc le jeu là il me dit qu'il faut que je retourne là-dedans en fait. Et je vois pas ce que je peux faire de... Ah Alright Merci le jeu. On va faire un petit échange ni vu ni connu. J'avais pas vu la plante. The criminal element has truly met his match today. Officer Parker? Uh, it seems our next exhibitor is unavoidably detained. But I'm sure his presentation would have been both enlightening and exciting. Um, hey, fait même pas sa montation. round of applause just for the heck of it. Ok, les pièces du Pulse se, se mettent en place là. Et du coup les gâteaux ils me servent à quoi Hiya, folks. Alors, hop, hop, et hop. Un petit switch. Ouais. 
Donc maintenant il faut l'enregistrer elle. Donc quand elle fait ses aveux, donc c'est là-dedans. Donc normalement on doit pouvoir placer ça dans la cabine. Ok, call me a snoop. La traduction euh, qui a pris des libertés. Hein. Il faut appuyer dessus. I changed my mind. Ah non don't look so good here. Je crois qu'il fallait appuyer pour l'activer. <rire> T'as vu la traduction euh, Le mec il s'est dit allez on va parler de Nixon. Micro, Nixon, Nixon, micro, il y, y, y a un truc. <rire> ok, call me a snoop. Bon, en fait, c'était déjà activé. Heureusement que j'ai des tickets à l'infini. Hein. Ça reviendrait cher sinon. Alors, hop, hop. Euh, cabine téléphonique du futur. <rire> C'est le Watergate. C'est le phone boss gate. Alors, Carl Sagan. It's me, Carl. Oh, hi, Mr. Sagan. What can I do for you? Je veux parler à Edna. Can you get Edna on the phone for me tous again? ses péchés. You got it, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Your Highness. Votre Altesse. J'ai bien triché un peu. What happened? I thought you were distracting Emmett. I was? Oh yes, of course I was. Then why is Emmett standing here valiantly trying to convince Detective Parker that he should be allowed to go through with this ever so dangerous Inquiet. display of wrong-headed technology? What can I say? I was outsmarted by that wily Yakov Smirnov. Well, that puts a crimp in our plan. Yes, yes, our plan. About that plan. Alors, dis-moi tout dans le détail. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing Alors anything en fait, about them. Every night, hein. night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks and loose women flaunting their Allez, depravity to coeur. the world. And the authorities did nothing. So I did what any <laughs> right-thinking <laughs> right woman okay. would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was too. Ah, the plus, fires were fait. so une beautiful. The alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. Oh, oui. Uh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Hang up. What? Jeez, Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. <laughs> On la tient. On la tient. Hiya, folks. It's me, Techni, Muse of Progress. Grâce à ce jeu, j'ai appris que technologie vient de Techné. Je suppose. Hein. Oh, ça va être autour des mètres, il faut se dépêcher. Alors, on récupère le pot de flower. Monsieur l'agent, monsieur l'agent. Oh. Hello, Schmirnoff. Hey, Danny. Do you mind, comrade? I'm busy trying to keep Emmett from letting you lead him into the biggest mistake of his life. Mistake? My biggest mistake was... This will only take a minute. Yo, Ambrosis. Our oh, plant a... recorder. It's not a good idea to steal Y'a plus l'alerte de host, mais je suppose que tu m'as host, donc euh, merci. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Arrêtez cette femme. You're the arsonist? D Detective Parker. 
Surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured forgery of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fires. Emmett? You're on your own, darling. Oh, very well. I. Heavens, what's that? Non, mais tout le monde fait. C'est ma technique, ça. One of these days, I should really stop falling for that. Not to sound callous, but does this mean I can demonstrate my invention? Let's take that as a yes. Greetings and salutations to all our honored guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress, and it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? No, I don't have a choice. Ça va partir en sucette. Mais c'est ça qu'il faut, c'est le destin. Here you go. Great. Come on, let's get up there. And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? This wouldn't be the first time the world was changed by a kid barely on the That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the race? Oh, le son est parti en... En vacances, là, hein? Bearings. Race position. Check. Then it looks like all systems are gold. She was only 19. Wish me luck. So hold your sniggers. Don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown. Objection! C'est son père. Objection, Your Honor. I hereby demand that the scientific demonstration of one Emmett Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity. I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father. Where is he? Hand him over this instant. Ah, that. Arrange-toi pour qu'Emmet pour qu'il se réconcilie. <rire> ah, ils ont cru que j'étais Pascal le grand frère ou quoi C'est bon là. Bon alors on peut on peut soit parler à lui soit parler. À... Mais il y a un autre affaire. Déjà, est-ce qu'on commencerait pas par déguster des bons petits gâteaux, Monsieur le juge <rire> Ça marche pas. Euh, bon. Comment tu le sens, Emmett <rire> Don't give me away. Sauter dans le lévitateur, allez. Vas-y, fonce. Just jump in the levitator and go. What's he gonna do? Shoot me down with an anti-aircraft gun? Ah. I thought you weren't scared of your father anymore. When he's in a mood like this, I'd have to be suicidal not to be scared. <rire> Toujours un petit gâteau. Come on, Emmett, you can't miss your big moment. You don't look very dignified crouching down there, you know. Better undignified than dead. Okay, tu mets pas du tout. To you can't hide from justice! Monsieur le juge? <coughs> you don't think you can shelter him? Emmett est parti. Vous faites un caprice, monsieur. Emmett's gone. You just missed him. Young man, I've been sitting on the bench of Hill Valley Criminal Court for 15 years. I can smell a dissembler a mile away. Now, are you going to turn him over, or will I have to use force? Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything... So he is up there with you. Thanks a lot. Son, I order you to come down from there this second. Euh, il va pas se mettre à bouder là non plus. I want to speak to my son. Emmett's not ready to talk to you uh, directly. C'est quoi comme accent ça Ah c'est allemand. Il veut speak. Il veut speak à son son. I guess son. so. Yeah. <rire> Vous l'intimidez. If I can say so, sir, the problem is is you're coming on too strong. You intimidate him. I don't intimidate him enough. That's the problem. You can't talk him out of it. His mind is made up. So, if talking won't work, there's always threshing. Stay right there. I'm not going anywhere. 
Je vois pas. Euh... Maybe he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge after all. Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. So, is your client euh, prepared avocat. to make a statement? <laughs> Détends-toi. He says it's no use talking to you. You never listen? Et GG, tu deviens un petit panda Un bébé panda. Pas right there. Oh là là Emmett, Je suis no pas point. un hibou <rire> euh, Il a promis de vous écouter. Father, son, you've never understood the first thing about me. All oh. you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. You don't know what it's like <laughs> to be young. You don't know what it's You're like to have dreams. They have ambitions so great and so powerful that they've got a life of their own. And it's all you can do. On comprend rien. Le, le mixage est en train d'exploser. Ça sature les micros, les gars. Calmez-vous. C'est nickel. Oh putain. Mais c'est quoi cette phase éclatée là Y'a y a, y a pas d'objet, y'a pas y a pas d'énigme. C'est juste. Deep down, he's just worried about you hurting yourself. No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted to my spirit. I don't know. I think you two are on the verge of a breakthrough. Oh, no, no. <sighs> Please, you gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. C'est important. C'est important pour l'avenir. Bah, c'est vrai. Look, Your Honor, you don't see it, but there's an awful lot riding on Emmett's demonstration. All the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Look me in the eyes, young man. I expect you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going to be a success? Ah! Alors non, on sait que non. <rire> ça va être un fiasco. Mais genre si je lui dis que ça va être un succès. Oui, ça va être un succès. Sure. Uh, sure it will. You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Emmett has exceeded his quota for one lifetime. It's my job as his father to see to it. Ah, Est-ce qu'on fait, est qu fait jamais trop d'erreurs? C'est ça la question. See, Your Honor, it's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. <laughs> A childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. That's what I'm afraid of. Emmett's just... Stubborn, willful, ah. single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kind of... good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake, those are traits that lead to oui, trouble. He gets them from his mother. Emmett's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but the days you've got to take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Try moving on. Take chances. 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 Schleiße. Ah, 
Oui, voilà, c'est ça. Ils l'ont traduit par le nom euh, Sony. So your father didn't approve of you coming to America. Well, Papa never really understood the younger generation. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to. Tell him I'll listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. Ok, on a fait la moitié du chemin. Emmet. Emmet. Il dit que vous ressemblez à votre mère. He says he yeah, gets stubbornness from your mother. Well, that's the limit. He's not satisfied with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt too. Mother isn't at all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like. Just oh, skip it. You were starting to say that you're like. Skip it. Can it be that you and your dad? No. Next subject. Damn it! Stop being a dope. You got your pride, okay, I, I get it. And so does he, but what's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. May I come up? Okay, petite musique, ça veut dire que c'est bon. Très bizarre cette phase. Il y avait rien à réfléchir, pas juste cliquer sur tous les dialogues. So, you think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? Yes, oui. yes I do. And I'm here to say... If any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. Pop! You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne. Allez, I know grosse canon. Generated by the static accumulator. Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. C'est la plus belle démission. Et j'en suis fier. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Remit Brown and his electrokinetic levitator. On est qu'à 1h20 de stream. Euh... Ça veut... Il va y encore y avoir une couille dans le pâté là, c'est pas possible. On connaît le jeu maintenant. Mais c'était censé être un échec Parce qu'en vrai là, même si ça explose maintenant, en soi c'est un exploit. Hein. Voilà. Qu'est-ce qu'elle va faire la pyromane encore hey, hey, stop Get back here. Elle a volé la voiture Stop Are you okay I thought I could change. Mais non, fais-toi une raison, elle est elle est fêlée. Forget about it. Come on. We got to find a way to stop her before. No, don't come any oh. close. Stop. Go away. Move. Move. Party. Attends, mais pourquoi il disparaît C'est-à-dire que le jeune le jeune Emmett il meurt Oh my god, Doc! Say something. Chromium, lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium, ruthenium. Okay, I'll get help. Newspaper. What? You mean. I'm gonna get you to a hospital, Doc. You're gonna be okay. Yes. Oh, ah non, c'est parce qu'on a changé I le. Okay. No, On a changé le on, destin. Doc, doc, ouais, c'est ça. This, 
Du coup, ce doc là n'existe pas. Sauf que là, on est coincé. Là, l'autre elle, elle a volé la voiture. Et c'est comme ça qu'il a découvert sa coupe de cheveux. Marty, have you been out here the whole time? Damn it. Um, is it over already? Oh, it's over, all right. You missed a very <rire> wild party. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. l'idée de faire ça à l'intérieur. Hein. Pour des génies. Euh... At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Oh, what was I thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is going to play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. I wonder if we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into electrokinetic force. One might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! So, what comes next? Work, work, and more work. A few more stumbles, followed by a breakthrough or two. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... I'm sorry, is something wrong? Uh, ouais, plutôt, ouais. It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh, I lost somebody. Oh, on l'a pas vraiment perdu. Anyone I know? Le futur maire. Non, on va pas dire. No, uh, nobody here knew him. He was a complete stranger to this world. I know the feeling. Sounds like a man after my own heart. <laughs> Then it is someone I know. Yeah, no, uh, forget it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here. But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Uh, please, Emmett, don't ask What's any... What's this? Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. Non, tu dois pas savoir ton avenir. Je ne comprends pas. Oh, oui, essaye-moi. Qu'est-ce que c'est Une explication. Mais tu dois me promettre. Ne regarde pas ça jusqu'à ce que tu aies la clé à la ville. Hein Emmett Juste promettre. I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to something. Just, just say you promise. Bah, je me suis dit, on s'en balance. <laughs> Wait. I will see you again, right? Guarantee it. Damn it. Je suis dans la merde de ouf là. Oh putain, où est-ce qu'elle allait cette conne Qu'est-ce qu'elle a fait Ah non, ok, c'est pas... Il est venu me chercher. So, you were the same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. C'est trop stylé cette scène, n'empêche. How was the ceremony? Long. 
You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. Only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? Je suis venu vous secourir. Je suis venu vous remettre sur la voie. Je suis venu vous empêcher d'épouser Edna. Bah à la base, je suis quand même venu te secourir. I came to rescue you. Teenage me? No. No, you, you. But then teenage you got mixed up in it. See, you were in jail and. Never mind. It's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies? Me? Nah, no. Well, I'm still a little confused about my... Where is he? Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. You see my Artie anywhere? Artie McFly? That's the one. C'est mon arrière-grand-père. Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? <laughs> hitched? Married. I swear, that boy's gonna put his pop on an early grave. So that's how she got her job back. Ah, il l'a épousée pour qu'elle devienne américaine. Ah, he, he's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not my Mais grandma. Mais si, il a pas compris encore. Not my grandma, Trixie, c'est ta grand-mère. Wait, that was great grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. <laughs> Holy crap, uh, Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. Down trois. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of... That car! Oh, great. How the hell did she get back here? She? You? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Well... Wait, Edna Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it, it made a loud noise and then oh, ran. Oh, putain, elle est vraiment partie. Great Scott! Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... You think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Uh, guys, you mind telling me what the hell you're... Uh-oh. Oh, putain, y'a tout qui disparaît <rire> Ok. Y'a plus de il valet. Doc Did we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. H how? Something must have happened to it. A long time ago. Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. Look, maybe you can help us. Elle a brûlé le valet 50 ans avant. Et du coup, ils se sont dit, c'est bon, on se casse. On va faire une ville ailleurs. Ah, je me rappelle plus du tout. We're looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it, a hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it though. Just as I suspected. Attends, 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 attends. Ça se trouve t'as raison. When did Hill Valley go away? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Ah donc c'était avant 1885. 45 years ago. Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. 
My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Say, if there's anybody who can tell you what in Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct this to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. Why wouldn't she talk to us? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, you gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile. Yo, Alba, tu vas bien? Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. Pas de si fou. Non merci. Can I drive? Elle va nous tirer dans la tronche. On n'aime pas bien les étrangers par ici. Oh, c'est. J'avais trouvé ce jeu bof. Bah écoute, c'est vrai que c'est pas fou. Mais j'aime tellement l'univers de Retour à le futur que. En vrai, j'aime trop. Mais c'est vrai qu'objectivement, il est pas ouf le jeu. Alors, qu'est-ce qui est arrivé à Il Valley Il n'y a que ça qui les sauve. Ouais, ouais, c'est. Alors là, il y a un fil, donc on va éviter de marcher dedans. An old saloon sign. Cool. Ouais, en vrai, c'est marrant. Après, je passe pas un mauvais moment, mais oui, c'est vrai que ce serait pas retour à le futur. Ce serait une autre licence. Ah. Ah, y'a le frisbee du retour à le futur 3. Oh, elle a pris cher. We were wondering if you could tell us. I don't talk to hooligans. Ah, j'ai pas fait Jurassic Park. Not a very friendly sort. Doc, that was Edna. Edna Strickland. Impossible. Ah, mais c'est pareil. Est-ce que c'est pas la licence qui te dit que, qui te fait dire que c'est bien? Listen, just leave it to me. Okay. You think you know how to handle her? Just remember, we need to know what happened to Hill Valley, and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. La tristesse de voir la Dorian comme ça. Et... I hate to see it like this. Ah j'allais dire et elle s'est pas dit euh, elle est restée ici mais en fait elle avait pas le choix parce qu'elle elle savait pas comment recharger la bagnole. Mary Pickford. C'est bien la licence ouais, ce que je me dis. Up a fake name like that? I wonder what's cooking. Un jour qu'il allait la mettre dans sa poche. Ça marche, Alba. Bon lurk. Ah, je peux me déplacer. Ah, il faut que je foute le feu à un truc. Euh. Les chiottes. Mais si elle aime le feu. Oh, ça va être un casse-tête, je sens cette phase. Il y a trop de trucs, il y a trop d'objets. I can wait. Attends, mais là la traduction elle est partie en vacances. Euh, ok. <rire> Le hack and wet, ils l'ont traduit, j'ai vraiment hâte. 
Ok, c'est juste tout l'opposé en fait. <rire> Doc, it's a... Comment ça chut. Il est fou lui. I'm sure I can get her to talk to me. Then what are you waiting for? Knock on the door. Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. <laughs> That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment way back in the future. À mon avis, c'est pas un... c'est pas un mauvais niveau d'anglais puisque y a... la plupart des traductions sont bonnes. À mon avis, c'est juste que les mecs, ils en ont rien à foutre quoi. Ils ont traduit ça en vitesse. Mais après, est-ce qu'on peut leur en vouloir C'est des mecs sous-payés. Euh... Ça sent la traduction vraiment euh, à l'arrache quoi. Bon bon, on va aller. Euh... Euh... Elle pense toujours que je suis Yakov Smirnov, donc on va dire Yakov Smirnov. Ah, ça va pas fait tilt. En même temps, si c'était il y a 45 piges. Vous m'avez interviewé, je vous ai sauvé la vie. Vous avez essayé de me faire arrêter. You tried to have me arrested once, a long time ago, remember? Listen, Sonny, I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past. Because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. Oh la vache. Ça va être sans fin. Voilà, dans tout ce qu'il y a là, là, il n'y a rien à récupérer là. Je trouve ça très bizarre. Je, je veux pas rater un objet à la con qui va me bloquer. Again, your old friend. How do I know you? Vous avez sauvé la vie, vous avez essayé de me faire arrêter. On a passé une journée ensemble. La journée ensemble. Ah. Il faut parler au présent. We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? Come on, Miss Strickland. Miss who? Strickland. You're Edna Strickland. Take a look at the mailbox, Sonny. Name's Pickford. Mary Pickford. And it has been for as long as I care to remember. And like I told you, I don't care. Compris, to compris, compris. Compris. Où est passé Hill Valley? Listen, lady, you've got to tell us where Hill Valley went. Hill Valley? You're standing in Hill Valley. Population one. Mm. Euh, la ville a intérêt à revenir. Hein. But there used to be a regular town here, right? Might be there was a town once long ago, or might be it was in the future. How many times I gotta tell you, I don't know. Oh, c'est bon, j'ai compris, j'ai compris. Je vous ai amené quelque chose. I something for you. What is it? Let me see. Ah ouais, c'était ça le plan. Bon, attends, j'ai quoi sur moi Une serpillière. Une enseigne de saloon et des petits gâteaux. Est-ce qu'il y a un truc à faire avec le cactus 
You've got a nice cactus here. Quit beating around the bush. Alors attends. On commence par les petits gâteaux. I brought you these algae cakes. Wait there. Oh, ça va pas, ça marche. Ouais, c'était sûr. Qu'est-ce qu'on a d'autre pour elle Un petit pot de fleurs I brought you this. I ain't interested in flowers. When you here? And I especially ain't interested in talking flowers. Put them away. J'ai que dalle. Hein. Je pense que ça elle s'en fout. I brought you this. Already got one. Ok, elle n'est pas complètement con. Et une petite serpillière. I brought you this. Already got one. We must have brought something Edna wants. Don't look at me. I didn't bring anything by myself. Ouais, tu m'aides pas beaucoup euh, pour un génie. Hein. Qu'est-ce qu'elle peut vouloir Là, la grand-père, il a dit qu'elle kiffe les journaux. Ça, il va enfin me servir le journal. J'ai plus le journal Je me suis trimballé un journal pendant tout le jeu. Et au moment où je me dis que ça peut me servir, j'en ai pas. Et merde. I brought you him. Him. Ho him. Him ho. C'est Carl Sagan. Roll article. Sure you remember him. Carl Sagan. Uh, the guy you framed as a speakeasy arsonist. Speakeasy? A arson? That's complete gibberish, Sonny. Uh, Whatever you're talking about has nothing bugger. to do with me. I never involve myself in such criminal shenanigans. Still, his features remind me of someone. C'est Emmett Brown. Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's um. Elle a dit ça avec tellement d'amour. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. Allez, c'est le moment de sortir, de sortir de grand jeu, là, Doc. It can't be, Emmett. Yes, Edna, it's me. It is. It's October 13th, 1931. Oh, and you are Emmett. Emmett. Oh. How did I get so turned around? Have I been dreaming, or oh, stay there? It's a classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scene. Attends, plus dire avant, petit génie. Et là, elle sort avec un fusil. Bam! Darling, you've come back. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Mon petit canard en sucre. Ah moi j'aurais combiné. Mon petit bébé canard en sucre d'orge. Non pas bébé, pas canard, sucre d'orge je pense. Sweet stuff. Sweet stuff. You've never called me that. Something's wrong here. Ah, je pense pas qu'elle disait qu'elle l'appelait Bébou euh, en 1931. Canard. Je pense pas. Les trois sont mauvais. Je pense. Ah si. You're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. Voilà, And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um... 
Elle a quand même une bonne mémoire, hein. c'était 45 ans pour elle. Je suppose maintenant que tu me Parker pour fermer votre booth. Une bonne médecine pour vous, je sais, mais j'ai dû le faire. Et Parker n'avait pas le choix que d'obéir mes ordres. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh... What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. Tu es parti dans le passé. What could it be? Can you jot her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Here's something that'll make you remember. Remember what? I don't like to remember. Who are you? What are you doing in my yard, you hooligan? No, Edna. No yard. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October 13th, 1931. Yes. And something's about to happen. Oh yes, something big. But what? You better not talk to her directly. It'll break the spell. Oh putain. Euh... Attends, si, si la théorie d'Oko est bonne et qu'elle a vraiment foutu le feu à la ville. Oh, un blacksmith sign. I wonder if it's from Doc's old shop. Allez hop, dans la poche. <rire> si elle a vraiment foutu le feu, est-ce qu'on lui montrerait pas la torche Il y en a récupéré là-dessus. I hate to see it like this. Moi aussi, Marty. On va, on va lui montrer la torche. Get out! Get out! Get out! Don't upset her, Marty. Sorry. Ok, c'était pas une bonne idée. Euh... Oh, le chapeau. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. Putain, mais je vois pas ce que je suis censé faire. Est-ce que je peux mettre le chapeau Non, pas les toilettes, pas les toilettes Quoi Non. Doc. Not sure what that'll do. Elle. Not sure what that'll do. Alors, est-ce que ça, ça va lui parler Maybe this will take you back. Back where I don't want to go back. Stay the moment, Edna. Please, Marty. Don't interrupt the trance. Mais qu'est-ce que je suis censé faire alors? Help me figure something out. Yes. Qu'est-ce qu'elle essaye de se rappeler? Qu'est-ce qui va nous arriver à nous? Comment Edna fait pour échouer? I'm not sure what she's searching for. Did Detective Parker do something to Edna at the expo? Yeah, he tried to arrest her. That must be it. Can you think of a way to prompt her? Okay, for a thing in relation to the flick. Explain something to me, Doc. Edna jumped to the past and made Hill Valley disappear, right? That's the working hypothesis. Oui, ça, qu'est-ce qu'on fout là, nous? Then how come we're still around? Whatever Edna did to Hill Valley must have happened so long ago that the ripples in the time stream haven't caught up with us. Ah, ça marche comme ça. So how long do we have before the ripples catch up with us? Oh, I'm sure we've got at least an hour before. Oh, ça c'est vraiment la, la, la facilité scénaristique, je pense. Hein. Ils se sont dit ouais, non mais c'est bon. On va dire que c'était il y a longtemps, du coup l'onde de choc. Euh... <rire> Sauf que techniquement là, on a une période où où Doc est jané, donc lui, ça devrait l'impacter un peu quand même. Hein. 
if we don't restore the timeline, I'll never be born, r right? Probably not. But even if we do restore it, my grandpa's gone and married the wrong woman. Either way, I'm no, host. Toujours pas compris. One crisis at a time, Marty. Right now, let's worry about getting the full story out of Edna. Edna used the DeLorean to jump into the past. I wonder why she never jumped out again. Put yourself in her shoes. Unexpectedly propelled into the past by an unreliable time machine. Would you risk another trip? I might. Maybe we could check the time circuits to find out what date she landed. We could, if there's anything left of the time circuits, but I'm afraid they rusted out long ago. When do you think it died? The DeLorean, I mean. That vehicle hasn't been operational in a very long time. My guess is, whatever happened to Hill Valley also happened to it. You know, I've been dealing with Edna Strickland a lot lately, and I've seen her old and I've seen her young, but I've never seen her so... That shit crazy? Right. I don't know if it's been 45 years since she lived here. How do you think Edna got this way? I guess that Edna's immense guilt over whatever she did in the past, combined with the trauma of traveling through time, has caused her to repress her memories. If we want to find out what happened, we'll have to break through those blocks. Well, in my opinion, the key is the detective Parker. You really think we can get through to Edna? She seems pretty out there. Even the most repressed memories can be restored with the appropriate stimulation. We just have to find the right cues to lead her down a path of emotional recovery before we get erased by the time stream. Sure, no problem. It's disorienting enough under the best of circumstances. Imagine the effect on a mind that's completely unprepared, especially a mind that doesn't deal well with chaos. Bon, I'll uh... figure something out. I'm sure you will. Et si on fait du bruit? Please, Mark, don't interrupt the trance. Compliqué, euh. Alors, je peux rentrer chez elle? Ah. It's locked. Je peux pas aller là. Mais il doit y avoir un truc à faire. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. Et où le chat Quel chat Attends, elle a parlé au cactus Pourquoi j'ai appelé le cactus Danny Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. Et crée attention au chat ou ça Tu es aveugle Oh dear. I made a ah, terrible oui, mistake. A mistake that made the police were very mad at you. Attends mais Danny c'est le nom du flic Danny Parker Attends me dis pas que c'est un délire en mode il faut que je lui fasse croire que le que le cactus c'est une personne Nice fit Help me out here Danny Don't talk to him I won't have you spreading stories about me Bon après je vois pas en quoi ça m'avance mais si on peut faire ça Attends, est-ce qu'on peut lui mettre d'autres trucs On lui donne un petit balai Ah oui, bah voilà Là on est bon là Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. Ok, ouais, 
Après, je vois pas à quoi ça servirait, mais. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Dans ma vie, tout ça c'est fait pour recréer un, un truc dans le passé. Peut-être qu'il faut les accrocher quelque part. Maybe this will take you back. Please, Marty, don't interrupt the trance. Et ça a l'air. Je sens le truc tiré par les cheveux de ouf. Et si on fout le feu au cactus? Je crois qu'il est pas dans le dans l'écran. On prend la. Comment tu l'as arrêté Comment j'ai arrêté qui Ouch. La fille. Ouais mais je lui ai déjà montré le pot de fleurs tout à l'heure. Elle m'a dit euh... Balek. Le pape. Ah je suis pas dans la bonne timeline. Elle s'en fout de ça. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why Because no one else was doing anything about them. Ah bah merci. No Turn it off you imbecile If Parker hears that he'll... Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh, he's after me. Ha! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the Okay, on est en train de refaire la scène. C'est une ceci est une reconstitution. Well, no use in holding back now. Let's see what this baby can do. And here it comes. Yes. Here what comes? I uh I I don't know. Something really unexpected. La lumière, les 88 miles right à heure. Now, OK, là sure je crois why. que c'est bon. Oh come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? At... Oh. Okay, what's okay, going okay. on? Quick Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Le soleil met beaucoup de temps à se coucher, moi je trouve. Hein. Donc là, on touche ça. Voilà. I'm being transported. Where? Back. Back to the past. What do you see? Hill Valley, but it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens, can it be? It is. Is what? Grandfather, big as life! Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by... I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No, I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. Oh, grandfather, how well you look. How well everything looks. How does everything look? Tell me. J'ai pas compris. It's a bit rustic to be sure, but all the buildings are so sturdy and well kept, and the young people of Hill Valley, they're so ver Attends, je crois que normalement, c'est le fait d'avoir mis le chapeau mais du coup c'est pas du tout cohérent. Genre je devais mettre le chapeau maintenant. C'est bizarre. Elle dit non je le reconnais pas et tout de suite après ah grand père. C'est bizarre. Virtuous and upright, 
So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century, script, and I know the reason why. Why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. Ouais, c'est une folle. On va dire que c'est cohérent. Learn to like living here. <gasps> But who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street, lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. 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 Tannen. Tannen. Yes. Good guess. <laughs> Look at acting like a big shot, throwing his money around, stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him, the two-bit phony? And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a a a, a what? A saloon. I don't know. It's something I don't like. Un saloon. Evil. Evil. Resident evil. We've got to get her memory back okay. to the groove. T'inquiète, j'ai ce qu'il te faut. Hop. Une petite planche de saloon dans la tête. Maybe this will take you back. Please, Marty. Don't ah, pas ça. the trance. Ah, j'étais sûr de mon coup là. C'est forcément un saloon. C'est quoi ça, Blacksmith Maybe this will take you back. Please. Oh, il m'en merde. Le feu, c'est pas tout de suite. Ah, mais qu'est-ce que ça peut être Ah, attends, il faut l'accrocher quelque part. Il faut l'accrocher quelque part. Ah, voilà, ok. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon in Hill Valley. He can't do that, Grandpa. You can't let him do it. You can't let that snake ruin paradise. If they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own Le hands. Feu. Le I'll feu. make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, <laughs> but I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. Quelque chose de flamboyant. Et un peu hot. <laughs> J'avais raison. Tu vois, le jeu tu peux. <laughs> tu peux dire une des pires conneries qui passent par la tête, c'est possible. Allez tiens, montre-nous ce que t'as fait. Quelque chose de chaleureux. You just give it me an idea. First, we'll need some kerosene. Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. Oh, Est-ce qu'on était obligé de la laisser faire ça parce que là c'est dangereux un peu. Elle complètement fêlé. Oh. The other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen no, like this. Pas, par contre. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. The world is full. We're very well advanced. Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed by fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, 
I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? Je savais qu'il fallait l'assommer avec la, la tube de, de, du saloon. Et on aurait été chercher le journal. Ah, il y a un grand-père. Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? Il est malin. This oh. is your cue to skedaddle. Right, much obliged. Ah, on l'aide pas. Ok. Oh. Mais je me rappelle tellement pas de ça. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back. You go through the front. Got it. Allez, on va au saloon. Hola mon brave. Ouais, il a l'air d'avoir le Covid. Ah c'est Borgar Tanen. La corde. Ok, je peux rien faire. Est-ce que je peux lui piquer son chapeau Ok. À quoi ça va me servir ça Enseigne de forgeron. Attends mais il m'a dit de rentrer par devant. C'est où l'entrée de devant si c'est pas là Ah oui je suis obligé d'aller là. Il n'y a rien d'autre. Fenêtre. Je comprends pas la logique de ce jeu. On a peut-être dû arriver un peu avant, hein, histoire de pas être trop serré par le timing. Who's there? Edna. Je sais pas, genre deux heures avant. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch, and this whole place will burn up. Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the Message same reçu, Doc. time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? The chandelier's right over their heads. That's got to be useful somehow. Ah non, c'est pas le verre, c'est la bidon de pétrole. Must be where Edna got the kerosene. Alors qu'est-ce qu'on a ici? Peinture de mauvais goût. Dolores Miskin? Mary Pickford? Don't tell me that. Ok, il doit y avoir un truc. Euh... Pickle juice. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. It's too heavy to lift. Attends, qu'est-ce que j'ai sur moi juste pour euh, savoir Que des trucs inutiles pour changer. Parfait. On peut aller là ou pas Sac de sable. Man, this thing is not light. Échelle, ok, on peut monter. Et on va monter d'ailleurs. Ah ok, système de balancier. J'ai compris. Donc 
le but ça va être de faire tomber ça. Are you here to haul me back to 1931 for my suppo- Mais est-ce que le diable existait Enfin le diable, pas le... Pas la personne, hein, mais... Un diable, ça existait en 1876. Allez, tu peux le faire. Ah, je pense pas non plus. Euh... Ok. Bon bah il faut celui-là en plus. Il a l'air très gros celui-là. It's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. Maybe we can come to a more peaceable solution, Mr. I can't reach it. Even if I could knock it down, Edna'd be free to torch the place. Et merde. Attends, mais avec mon poids, c'est trop, c'est pas assez lourd. Not quite. Shit. Pourquoi ils ont mis ce sac de sable Ça existait Man, this thing is not light. Bah, euh, bah moi j'en ai pas. <rire> Faut que je me démerde. What? Why are you so hellfire determined to meddle in my affairs? Je peux pas genre enlever. Euh... Voilà, enlever un baril. I wonder what's in these. Oh, stop. Voilà. Quiet. What the hell Oh, cow crap. There goes all my pickled pig's feet. Là, ça devrait être bon là. Going down. Ah ok j'ai capté, on met le sac en bas, ok le jeu, je vois. It's still hot enough to bring down this little bit of Gomorra, Tannen. A hundred years from now. Hop. Alright, physics. Non mais non mais non, on remonte Marty, on remonte. On va chercher les pickles. Est-ce qu'on peut y aller Ah je peux pas aller là-bas What kind of odds would you give me that I can disarm you and douse the young lady's torch simultaneously? En 1830. Okay, About the same odds that you can walk out of here without getting shot in the gut, stranger. À la semaine prochaine. Ah, c'est une info importante. Hein. Pourquoi je peux pas aller là-bas On m'explique Ça va, ils ont ils ont l'air plutôt patients. All right, we got the pickle barrel up to the rafters. That's step one. Now I gotta figure out how to tip it over. Ok. Ok. <rire> Je vois pas. Je sais pas où on va, mais on y va là. I didn't hear noise. Why are you dressed like that? I wasn't planning on the 19th century today. And I wasn't planning on. Donc c'est avec la planche là. Okay, that was lucky. Won't be long now. We'll just see. Donc maintenant on peut faire tomber ça, je suppose. Mais avec quoi C'est trop loin. Ou alors je saute dessus. Say, that's a lovely chandelier. Yeah, mo's in place. Now to pull the trigger. 
Die Neo. Come on. Got any last words? I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. Come on, you son of a. <gasps> <laughs> the hell are you? Bien fait. I'm the diversion, butthead. Oh, Doc, il est vénère. Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks Fistikov set a bad example for the boys. Now, c'est vrai ça, Clara. C'est dommage qu'on la voit pas. She's gone. Elle s'est rebarrée avec sa bagnole. To be worried about. You're a smart woman with a strong moral compass. You just need to think your way out of it. Oh, fudge! What's she doing? I think she's spouting euphemisms at us. Luckily, the road out of Hill Valley is still pretty rough in 1875. It's unlikely she'll manage to accelerate 88 miles an hour anytime soon. How are we going to stop her? Good question. I can't risk injuring her or damaging the vehicle for fear of altering the timeline even further. Luckily, those diagnostic lights might alter themselves, but all over, the lawyer have given me an idea. Here, take these. What are these? Flux signalization modules. How do they work? I generally use them for maintenance purposes, but we might be able to use them to sync up with the alternate lawyer's diagnostic modules, thus making it possible to link both sets of time circuits and override the time destination of the alternate DeLorean. At least that's the theory. J'ai rien compris, mais faisons ça. That's a great plan, I think. Best of all, we won't need to weld the modules to the frame. We'll just snap them over the diagnostic lights. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to go out there? How the heck am I supposed to do that? To overboard. Aha! Aha! Hoverboard. Yes. Save our hides a few times before, so it seems like the appropriate tool to bring along for the job. Sweet. L'objet le plus cool de tous les films de science-fiction. You okay? It's just like riding a bike. You ready to make the jump? Ready, Doc. Synchroniser les paramètres de la donne. Sérieux C'est ça qu'on va faire Mais dans quel but Alors, empêcher de d'échapper dans le temps. Donc c'est ça là. Synchroniseur temporel. Non, pas les suiglaces, pas les suiglaces. Pourquoi il a pris les suiglaces bon, C'est que ça me servira, Edna. Oula, 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 ça. Ça bouge ultra vite. Et après je fais quoi Ok. C'est chaud avec les touches. Hein. Le deuxième c'est ici. Pourquoi j'y ai pas pensé Est-ce qu'il 
peut monter là. Bon. Ah bah je vois. Comment je monte sur le toit Mettre un coup de volant. Ah merde, comment je passe Est-ce que je peux faire quelque chose avec les suites glace Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Ma vie là-bas c'est en dernier. J'arrive à aller sur le toit. Ah, Est-ce que je peux passer par devant Ah oui. Ah, allez sur le toit, sur le toit. Mais merde. Ah, elle peut plus me voir dans le rétro. Ok. Et Monsieur Fusion euh, fait la gueule. Ah donc je peux plus passer. Ah si. Ok, je peux plus passer derrière. C'est pas un peu la merde là. Elle va encore me rouler dessus. Ah mais je peux pas, c'est trop loin. Je veux bien. I can't reach it from here. Pourquoi j'ai pris un essuie-glace? Ah attends, est-ce que je peux pas refermer Monsieur Fusion avec les suites glaces Ah voilà. Donc maintenant on peut retourner derrière. Et donc là, elle est censée ne, ne plus me voir. Donc là, là elle est un peu à vague. Tu vois là elle me voit pas Attends attends je te règle Je te règle le signal Oula 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 des fois ça va doucement et des fois ça va vite. Allez là C'est l'angle mort Il y a la... Il y a la... Il y a la qui gêne. 
Bon, maintenant, il faut aller sur le toit. Elle a ouvert la portière. Est-ce qu'on lui mettra... <rire> Comme dit Oko, est-ce que ce serait pas l'heure du test PCR, là Un petit essuie-glace dans le nez. Oui, mais elle a ouvert la fenêtre, Marty. Euh, fait un effort aussi, quand même. Elle l'a pas ouverte pour rien. Attends, si je me mets devant, est-ce que je peux lui parler Si je peux lui parler. Toc toc. Voilà. Je vais pas sortir d'ici. Moi je referai le tour vu qu'elle a ouvert la porte. Moi je peux pas sortir d'ici. Ça ne mène à rien. Je sais pas du tout à quoi sert ce truc. Vas-y, sure tu casses la fenêtre. Sure bah, ben, je sais pas. J'ai pas compris, je sais pas ce que j'ai fait. Non, à mon avis, ça c'est pour la suivre. Ça c'est pour la contrôler, non Ouais, je sais pas, on verra. Ouais, on est à l'envers. C'est moi qui suis à l'envers ou c'est le monde il est à l'envers là Oh putain au clavier c'était... Oh merci le jeu. Il a de la force dans les bras. Avec un bras. Ah voilà, c'est pour contrôler la voiture. <rire> Ce passage, il est vraiment tiré par les cheveux. Voilà. Allez en prison Direct Il n'y avait pas d'airbag hein, en 1985 Parker 
Then I must be back in. Would you be kind enough to tell me what day it is? Le jour de ton arrestation. Arrest no, you can't arrest me. Not now. I just got back from the last century. Would you look at that? Edna Strickland, drunk as a skunk. I'm not drunk, you reprobate. I'm a time traveler. Sure you are. <laughs> I'm loving this. I I'll prove it to you. Come with me. We can do the whole day over if you want. We can fix everything. We can start by drying you out. Come on, into the station with you. You can bunk with me, doll. I'd rather die. Stop it! Unhand me, you dolt! Et nous, on est où? Well, I guess that's it for Edna. Yes, I suppose it is. You know, whoever said time heals all wounds didn't know the squat about time travel. What do we do about that, DeLorean? No need to do a thing. Ever since we synced up the time circuits, the temporal breakdown in Edna's DeLorean has accelerated at an exponential rate. By my calculations, the timeline should catch up with it in five, four, three, two, one. Now! What the hell? Hey, Parker! You're not gonna believe this! See? What'd I say? Ready to go home? Wait, Doc! The timeline's not fixed yet. Look! Mais c'est ta grand-mère! Il a pas encore... Il a pas encore capté. Michael! You missed all the fireworks at the expo! Yeah, so I heard. Listen, I heard a rumor about you two. I guess we gotta come clean. Ta-da! Hottie took me to Reno last night! Try to keep a secret in Hill Valley. <laughs> well, you're gonna congratulate us or what? La ville Reno, ils ont mis chez Reno. Comme si c'était une personne, Reno. Il m'a amené chez Reno. Hey, you feeling all right, kid? You don't look so hot. Ah bon, bah s'ils sont allés se marier chez Reno. C'est pas la bonne femme. Non, mais en vrai, euh, nous on a, coup on a compris. Je vais pas dire ça, ça se fait pas. C'est pas bien. This just isn't right. Now I know marrying a Canadian for a work permit isn't strictly by the book, but hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love. <rire> isn't he just <rire> Jean de son prénom. Ils ont été chez Jean. Vous êtes trop jeune. Trixie, you can't marry Artie. Is this about my past with Kid? Cause Artie ain't holding that against me. That's right, darling. The past is the past. Yeah, but... Can you Il a pas encore compris. Marty depuis no, le temps. Never could figure you out. I thought you'd be thrilled for us. You don't understand. You're supposed to marry Sylvia Miskin. But I did marry Sylvia Miskin. What? You didn't think my real name was Trixie Trotter, did ya? Don't feel too bad. It was kind of a surprise. Et du coup, dans le passé, c'était sa grand-mère qui était dans le dans le salon là sur la photo. Faut dire qu'elle ressemble. But you're so so skinny and blonde and huh. you know, I think, oh my god I've seen you naked you're Sylvia you okay pal il l'a pas vu nu quand est-ce qu'il a vu nu ah oui sur la photo euh... sur la photo euh, de charme là, la carte postale um, to approving your marriage You seem kind of mad about it back at the high school. Well, that was before I got a look at her. Besides, as my dear old father Seamus used to say, no sense in getting riled up over something I can't do nothing Seamus. about. And honestly, now that I met her, I can't imagine a better daughter-in-law than the charming Miss Sylvie here. Aw, thank you, Dad. As for you, stranger, I'll thank you to not go poking your nose in McFly family business. Pas l'impression qu'on se ressemble. C'est un plaisir, Agent Corleone. See you in the funny papers, Mikey. Goodbye, Grandma. You know, I took some pictures of Trixie in 1931. Hey, that's my grandma you're talking about. Ouais, parle bien. On laisse les, les grands-mères tranquilles. Ah. Tout est réglé. On touche plus à rien. En fait, ils ont raison à la fin du 3. Il faut la détruire cette voiture. 
May 14th? 15th. Best to fill in a little lag time. Gives you a chance to catch up. Looks like the estate sale is still going on. Hey, don't you want to stay, Doc? You gotta stop the bank from selling off all your old stuff. What are you talking about? Estate sale, bank? I'm not dead, Marty. Clara and I are having a little garage sale, that's all. Oula, ça, ça change, ça. You mean... Marty, you're back from your trip. Hello, Doc. Ah, c'est pas comme au début du jeu. Family treasures, eh? Uh, not quite, but I hope you find something you like. Speaking of which, did you find what you were looking for? Oh yeah. yeah, I sure did. Great. Hey, is that a box of Asimov? Let me get this straight. Are you telling me you live here now, in 1986? Well, naturally. Claire and I maintain a part-time residence here. Wasn't that the case when you left? No. No. Strange. I can't imagine not sticking around. After all, I've got my late father's foundation to supervise. If I wasn't here, who'd present the annual Earhart Brown Scholarship for Young Scientists? Ah, c'est parce qu'ils se sont réconciliés avec son père. <laughs> Something funny? I'll explain it to you later. I don't see what's so funny about looking after a family legacy. Oh, almost forgot. I've got something for you. Happy graduation. Graduation? But that's not for another. The McFlies of Hill Valley. An exhaustively detailed history of your family. From your great great grandfather Seamus to the present. You traveled through time to write this? Well, most of the research was done traditionally, but your grandma soon proved to be something of a mystery. Which is why you traveled back to 1931 to look for her. Exactly. À la base, c'était juste pour mon cadeau que tout a commencé. This is great, Doc. Thanks. Ah, it's the least I can do for the man who saved me from making the worst mistake of my life. Yoo-hoo! Dr. Brown! Ah! Edna? Edna? Ah. Attends, elle a un avec un chien. What are you doing on my door? The same thing I do every afternoon, silly elle est man. Gentille. Giving him such much needed exercise. Mais qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? Right, Einstein. Hey, Dollface, it's past time for our 3:30. Coming. Elle s'est mis à comme ils étaient en prison tous les deux. Have you seen my stepson anywhere? Oh, Biff, I think you're late for an appointment. Oh, gosh. À la prison, ça, ça right, rapproche, il n'y a pas à dire. Bye, Marty. <laughs> ça crée des liens. Don't they make a great little family? You'd never know they met in prison. Don't say anything. Let's just walk quietly into the lab and hope there are no more surprises. Par contre, c'est bizarre. Parce que s'ils se sont rencontrés en 1931 en prison, pourquoi Biff il est quand même là Et genre, c'est sa belle-mère. Qui okay. Qu'est-ce qui se passe encore Doc Marty What are you doing here You gotta come with me Back to the future Marty, you can't be here If your younger self sees you, the consequences could be catastrophic my younger self? Oh, right! Bring him along too. This concerns all of us. What do you mean? Does something happen to us? Do we turn into assholes or something? Nah, we're fine. It's exactly the same dialogue at the end of What the hell? The nuclear weapons. What the hell? Doc, you gotta come back with me. Back Don't to listen the... to him, Doc. It's me you gotta help. If you want to save Jennifer and our 12 kids, what? Two enfants? Mine was overwritten five jumps back. Jennifer's out of How can there be two more of me here? I have no idea. Well, all rights of space time continuum should be tearing apart like a cheap dish rack right now. It already is. What my evil twin and I are trying to say is the future is totally jacked up. And you gotta come with me to save it. No, me. So, at <laughs> last. <laughs> Ça, elle a le jeu, il est en là. What's going on, Doc? Well, we do seem to have a conundrum on our hands, or three. Yeah, Doc, but which one is the real me? Isn't it obvious, Marty? 
Come on. Bah non, pas du tout. Prepare to be erased. Doc, wait. What about the space time to get you out? What about my future and mine? The future can wait. We've got a present to catch up with. Where to, Doc? Mr. McFly, thrill me. On n'aura jamais la suite. Mais tu vas me demander. Je pourrais streamer et en même temps capturer. Ouais, faut que je regarde, faut que je, faut que je fasse des tests. Il y a peut-être moyen, ça peut être cool de se regarder des films ensemble. Pas forcément des chefs-d'œuvre, hein. même, des, même des nanars, hein. genre on se marre quoi. À suivre, ah, mais il y avait vraiment une suite de prévu. Ah, du coup, ça fait chier en vrai. Ah, c'est grave triste. Je sais pas, ah ouais. Ah, ça, c'est triste. <rire> 